Hey guys, you're watching the third video in our four part promotional campaign with ASUS where we showcase the ASUS Vivo PC VM60. If you haven't watched the previous two videos, then you can do so by clicking on the annotations here and here or on the links down below in the description. In our previous video, we unbox the Vivo PC and take a look at all the accessories that come with the package, including the sweet Vivo Mouse WT720. In this video, we focus on upgrading the RAM and hard drive if you desire to get more out of your Vivo PC. Later on, we'll be going through all the applications that are preloaded on the machine. The Vivo PC is quite easy to upgrade. This particular model comes with 500GB of hard drive storage and 4GB of RAM. So if you want more space for all the HD movies and the huge games, then you can easily swap out your 500GB hard drive for a much higher capacity one or if you want more performance, then use an SSD. And here's how you go about doing that. Now that the ASUS Vivo PC is completely shut down, we proceed to removing the cables from the rear. Then we click the slide lock towards the bottom. This unlocks the top panel, which you can pop like this. And you get to access the hard drive bay. The hard drive bay uses tool design, so all you need to do is slide the hard drive towards the back, then remove it. The four rubberized screws that uh, mounts the hard drive into the bay. In order to replace the hard drive, you remove these screws, pop it into the next hard drive that you're going to use, and then drop it slightly, and then slide it back in. That's all you need to do to replace the hard drive. Then put the hatch back on, slide the lock in, connect all the cables, and then proceed towards using your PVVO PC. If you feel a hard drive is too slow for you and you want more performance, you can always swap your hard drive for an SSD. And it's pretty much the same procedure. Remove your hard drive. And for an SSD, you don't need to remove the rubber screws and uh, put them on the SSDs. You can just take the SSD, align it, and then slide it in. And that's it. Now that we have figured out how to upgrade your hard drive, let's move on towards the RAM. The ASUS Vivo PC VM60 comes with 4GB of SODIM DDR3 memory. And if you wish to have more for performance and uh, more multitasking capabilities, then you can buy one of these modules from your local computer retailer. It's the same one that goes into laptops. So it's not that difficult to find. So let's begin with upgrading your RAM module. You follow the same steps as you did for upgrading your hard drive till you come across the RAM compartment that lies just beneath the hard drive bay. This panel is secured using one screw. Remove that in order to access the RAM slots. Here we see two slots. The lower one is already populated with the 4GB module and we are going to be installing this module into the upper slot. First you need to ensure that your RAM module is compatible with the Vivo PC. Check the ASUS qualified vendors list for more details. While installing the RAM module you need to ensure that the notches are aligned with the slot. After that's done, simply put the module inside and then press down till you hear the click. Now you upgraded your RAM module, replace the panel, pop the hard drive back in and close the hatch. The Vivo PC comes preloaded with a lot of software that covers a wide range of functions. Let's go through some of them. First off, you have a 60 day trial version of Norton Internet Security. If you wish to use it, then you need to activate it. Then you have ASUS's own Diagnostic Utility. The Diagnostic Utility gives you your system's information, then you can individually test certain components. And if you wish to put your PC through the grind, then you can do stress tests as well. 
third software is Asus Secure Delete. It allows you to delete files securely so that uh, recovery software cannot uh, get it back. Simply drag and drop a file that you wish to delete and it will do the job. ASUS gives you 5GB of storage space which you can increase up to 10GB through a referral program and it works similar to OneDrive so you just drag and drop your files that you wish to put on the cloud into the folder and it's synced across all your devices including your mobile and tablet devices. The next app is for the Vivo mouse. It allows you to set gestures and selectively disable them if you don't wish to use them. This way you can uh, prevent confusion happening between multiple gestures. Then the final tab allows you to view the current battery level and swap out if it falls too low. The next tab is called Audio Wizard and allows you to set profiles for Asus's Sonic Master technology that comes with Vivo PC. You can choose between music mode, movies mode, speech, gaming and recording or you can set it off. The last app we are looking at is Asus's AI Suite 3. It's a collection of various apps that allows you to monitor your uh, Vivo PC as well as make use of multiple features. The first module allows you to update all of ASUS's software. The second module is called Wi-Fi Engine and allows you to set your network adapter as a normal network adapter or as an access point. Then we have a system information tab that gives you all the current information regarding your system. And there's a small panel on the bottom that gives you your current CPU frequency, current core voltage, temperature and fan RPM. The main feature is Wi-Fi Go. It's again a collection of apps with a wide variety of functions. The first one is Cloud Go. It allows you to remotely control and sync all of your files across cloud services. The second is Remote Desktop, Yono. It allows you to use your desktop, view your desktop in your mobile device so you can connect, uh, control it remotely. Then you have DLNA Media Hub which provides support to the latest DLNA standard and allows you to share media wirelessly across all DLNA supported devices. Then you can transfer files between your computer and your mobile devices which have the application. This one allows you to use your mobile sensor to control media player on the PC. You have remote keyboard and mouse which allows you to use your phone as a remote keyboard and mouse. And the last one is capture and send which uses a hotkey on your keyboard and takes a screenshot and sends it to your device. We've demonstrated the preloaded applications and shown you how to upgrade the hardware of your ASUS Vivo PC. Stay tuned for the next video in which we'll be focusing on benchmarks and performance. Thank you for watching.